Speaking to you from the ceramic studio at the Craft Center in Pittsburgh, and specifically we're going to be talking to Mr. Edward Koswick, who is ceramics instructor here and at Peabody, yes. and I think you have some clay all ready to go on the potter's wheel here. Uh, would you make something for us and show us your techniques? Well, the techniques are pretty common throughout. What we're doing is uh, known as throwing on the potter's wheel. Throwing on the potter's wheel is merely consisting of uh, working with a large lump of clay, or a small one, preferring your skills, and working them into a pot. You probably noticed some of them in the back there. They've been turned the way you're turning yes, just now. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. And uh, it's one of man's old arts, and probably one of his earliest machines. This is probably one of his originals that we're working on now. Well, now, you're turning this with your foot down there, aren't you? Yes, a kicking motion there. This is probably where the term uh, originates, uh, the kick wheel. That's uh -huh. why it's called the kick wheel. We work using a kicking motion, and we're trying to get the ball centered. We started with the round ball. Now we're trying to form a concentric cylinder. You see, it's taking shape just by pushing against and down until we get something that is fairly smooth and centered. How hard are you pressing on there? I can't tell whether it's a lot of force or... Well, at this first stage, it takes a little bit of energy. <laughs> and, this. and now, after we've gotten through the first part, and we've got it centered where it rides, it looks fairly uniform. We take and open. Now, the second part is where the bowl starts to take shape. Up to this point, it's been a kind of a mass of clay. Now we push down. You're just pushing uh, while you're cutting a little bit of clay, but not very much, right? No, this, most of it, the clay is quite plastic and it responds quite readily to, I guess, to the, uh, the form you want it to give. It takes form pretty well. See, we've got a little I'd say a large donut here <laughs> right now. And we'll you make it look so easy. I'll bet the first time a person throws it on there, they don't get one in shape like that real fast, do they? No, I think <laughs> they feel they're pretty much like they have all thumbs. How long have you been doing this? Oh, I've been down here about 12 years, and uh, Peabody about six. Uh -huh. And we've more or less... Uh, been exposed to it so much that it's a kind of a second nature yeah. now we've got the now we've gone through two stages two basic stages and generally beginners will get these two stages pretty rapidly mm -hmm. with a little practice but then when the skill comes in it's in the raising part or the third stage which I you've got it into now. what a rough stage yes uh, it's a kind of a ready. very rough pot mm -hmm. right now and we want to bring it up to something that looks a little more graceful. Uh, you're I'm just putting pressure from inside and outside, and the clay starts to grow, the pot starts to grow. We're thinning the walls, and we're getting a growth. What are you doing? Pushing your fingers together, sort of, from the inside and outside? And, and, and pulling them up. Pulling up at the same time. Yes. This one looks like a kind of Hawaiian pot. It has a little well, swing you to could, the hips here. You could bow this out once you get yeah. it up, or you could uh, bring it in, or make almost any shape you want, couldn't you? Yes, but generally you start from a cylinder shape, the way I'm doing now. You start in a cylindrical manner, and then we start shaping it up. Now, this is fairly uniform, a bit uneven, but it's uniform throughout the walls. Now we can start shaping or changing the shape from the inside by putting some pressure. See how the pot oh, I see. Uh -huh. You, at the same time, though, if you're if you're adding that shape, you're also increasing the height a little bit, aren't you? Yes. Uh -huh. And uh, I, I imagine that with some experience, a beginner is uh, well, depending on his own. Uh, 
-hmm. skill. He's taking a piece of uh, string and cutting it. Yeah. Uh -huh. We'll uh, even it up a little bit at the top, and then we'll be able to continue a little further. Oh, now I we see. Can, yeah. Uh -huh. We can bring that. It's quite flexible. We can bring this in and, and change the shape of it, bring it in this way at the top, or bow it out a little bit. And this basically is a very simple, very quick, but a very simple pot, see. Mm -hmm. Now, about how much clay did you start out with? Do you measure by weight or something no, like that? No, you more or less develop a feel of uh, what you can handle. Generally, something that fits comfortably in the palm of your hand. Uh -huh. And uh, with this, uh, as far as finishing goes, we can take it to, say, after it becomes firmer, we can flip it over on the back side and finish the bottom. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you. You've made it look very easy. I'm sure it isn't until we've had your experience. <laughs> well, would you like to try it? <laughs> That's all the time that we have now, I'm afraid. Uh, let's see now where the magic carpet will take us next.